fame renowned the world around. That look of natural beauty and perfect grooming takes you to the fifth annual Miss Universe beauty pageant in Long Beach, California for the selection of Miss Universe 1958. Good evening, Bill Welsh greeting you from the Long Beach Municipal Auditorium. The competition is underway, the 15 semifinalists are on stage. Let's go out there and join them right now. I asked this one girl if she was happy, she said a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, you see here the 15 semifinalists for the honor of being a Miss Universe of 1958. Later this evening, one of these 15 girls will become Miss Universe. All of these girls will make another appearance before the judges in their swimsuits. And of course, at that time, each will be making their particular speeches, which they, uh, of course, will do, some of them in their native language, some in English. Just to give you a rundown on the girls here, over at the left, they have their backs to you, so you cannot see their ribbons, of course. But the girl on the very extreme left, whom you'll see here in just a moment, is Miss Alaska, Martha Lehman. Next to her is Miss Argentina, Monica Lamas. And as you know, Miss Lamas was a last-minute entry into the competition. She's turning now, and you see a profile view here. She replaces Miss United States of America, and of course I'm sure that if you've been following KTTV, you know the very sad circumstances that we first reported to you last night. We were the first to bring you the news that there was a very strong suspicion that Miss Maryland, who had been crowned Miss United States of America, was in fact married and the mother of two children. These facts were proved to be true about 7 o'clock this morning. But we at that time gave you last night the first inclination that there might be a possibility she would be eliminated. The judges felt that the honest thing to do, Oscar Meinhardt, the executive producer, felt the same way, was to bring the 16th girl up into the competition of the top 15, rather than uh, to put in Miss Utah, Charlotte Sheffield, who, although a very beautiful girl and the new Miss United States of America, had been unable to appear last night for the qualification. Now, continuing with the other girls, the third girl is Austria, Miss Austria, Hannerl Melcher. Next, Miss Brazil, Teresina Morango. Then, Miss Canada, Gloria Noakes. Following her is Miss Cuba, Maria Rosa Gamio. Miss England, Sonia Hamilton. Miss Germany, Gerti Dobb. Miss Greece, Lechia Caravias. Miss Italy, Valeria Fabrizzi. Miss Japan, Kayoko Otani. Miss Morocco, Jacqueline Banilla. Miss Peru, Gladys Zender. Miss Sweden, Inger Johansson. And Miss Uruguay, Gabriela Pascal. Now they're coming off stage. May I remind you that they will be returning once again to the stage, and you will see them very shortly as they appear before the judges to make their speeches. Always one of the highlights of the entire presentation. And now, before the girls get back on stage, let's take a look into the beautiful world of Max Factor. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the backstage area. Miss Austria just walking in front of our camera here. They're being directed. There's Miss England walking by us also. Miss Cuba just to our left here, your right as you look at the picture. They're going back on stage. Here's Miss Argentina, Monica Lamas, and we explained her presence in the competition tonight. Here is Miss Italy, who was late, was just getting here. Go right ahead. I won't hold you up. She has... Uh, <laughs> she had somebody translate a speech for her into uh, English tonight, from uh, Italian into English, and she's going to do her best to deliver it in English, and it'll be very interesting to see how this young lady who does not speak or understand English makes out. She understands very few words. She does speak French in addition to speaking Italian. Let me just check here through the curtain and see. All right. Let's bring our camera up here, and uh, out on the stage, there are introducing a lot of prominent dignitaries whom you've met if you've been with us in our previous coverage, but I thought this might interest you here as the girls prepare themselves for this very important part, very difficult part, 
They're getting last-minute directions. I see Bob Oliver there, who stage manages these presentations, his assistants, too, talking to the girls. They're all extremely nervous because, for many of them, it is uh, going to be a difficult effort to try to say something in English. For some, they realize that speaking in their native tongue, they will not be understood by a great percentage of the audience here tonight. However, because of the international complexion of our judges, it is uh, possible, of course, that the, some of the judges will understand exactly what they say. Miss Japan, of course, will have the benefit of at least having one judge who does speak her native tongue, and Miss Japan does not speak any uh, English whatsoever. She has learned a few words from the other girls here, but that's about all. In the audience this evening, and he was introduced prior to our coming on the air, was Mr. Max Factor, who heads, of course, the world-renowned and internationally famous cosmetic firm which brings you these exclusive telecasts on Channel 11. While you're looking at the girls, maybe it would be a good time to just briefly bring you up to date. Miss Maryland is leaving tonight to return to Baltimore, but expects to be out here to consider a large number of motion picture, personal appearance, nightclub contracts that have been offered to her. Here's one of the stage uh, managers rushing out with a glass of water for somebody who's particularly nervous here. The girls are not arranged in any alphabetical order. They're told to just sit anywhere that they wished. And they are just getting a moment to uh, relax here and uh, actually a moment to get a little bit more nervous before they have to go on the air. We're going to explain a little bit later on about the uh, big development here that started last night about the time we were getting on the air. We're going to hold it off until after 10.30 because at that time the Northern California television audience is going to join us and will be with us until after the selection of Miss Universe. So for that reason, we just uh, have, I'm sure as you heard the explanations earlier, you're very familiar with it, but we will recap the situation and bring you up to date on that shortly after 10.30 whenever an opportunity develops. And now very shortly the curtains will open and you will have the opportunity to hear the speeches to be made by the 15 semifinalists. The girls in the first round of competition, such as on Tuesday and Thursday nights, first for Miss United States of America and then for Miss Universe, do not have to make a speech. They're judged uh, strictly on poise, figure, what personality they can exude without speaking to the judges. So for that reason, uh, we do not have the speeches. Obviously, with the great number of girls we have, 76 in all here, it would be very difficult to, and under any circumstances, get all of them up here to speak, because this will last for some time, I assure you of that. The 15 of them have taken as long as an hour, an hour and 20 minutes for the presentation of their speech. It's a little bit warm. The girls fan themselves, try to uh, cool off a little bit. It's a warm night in Long Beach, though uh, a pleasant night. It's uh, warm for Long Beach, I should say. It'd be cool for most other parts of Southern California. Out on the uh, stage, just to let you know that you're not missing anything, Mr. Ed Hennessy is explaining to the audience the uh, large number of prizes which will go to these girls, and since it's a long and extensive list, I don't uh, know that we particularly want to take time for that. I'm sure that uh, while you and I appreciate that Ed is a fine master of ceremonies and has done a great deal to contribute to the success of the pageant here this year, uh, actually, uh, you probably would like to look at the 15 semifinalists here. Our camera's going to move just a little bit closer and so that you get a little bit better view. We have to be alert with that camera, though, so that we can uh, get ourselves uh, back out of the way when the curtains part, because it would lead to a great deal of consternation if uh, all of a sudden the curtains parted and there uh, was our camera in the middle of the stage. That Hennessy has just announced about the very generous cash awards which are being made by Max Factor to several of the girls. It will give them the opportunity for what many of them have wished, uh, scholarships to pursue studies in many fields in which they have their interests. If you have met the girls previously, as we've described them to you, you know that they represent a most diverse group of interests here. I can see some of the girls practicing their speeches, rehearsing them. Miss Morocco seems to be perfectly at ease over there on the far side as she waves to our camera. That's Miss Morocco 
looking her very charming self as always. There is Miss Alaska. Miss Cuba blew you a kiss. If you saw that here on the end of the line, there is uh, Miss Argentina. And uh, Oscar Meinhardt has asked us to move our camera back a little bit further. He's afraid the curtains are going to pull uh, here and we will be trapped. So we get out of there rather than uh, incur the wrath of Mr. Meinhardt because he does a great job as the executive producer and uh, <laughs> he wants to be sure we're out of the way before anything happens. Curtains will lift very shortly and uh, we will have this most interesting part. Now I believe we're about ready and here's Ed Hennessy. Good evening, everyone. The other night, Miss Texas said that there's a lot of Texas to brag about. But now Alaska is over twice the size of Texas, and I believe I have over twice as much to brag about. But before I do brag, I would like to extend my sincere thanks and appreciation to everyone involved in this pageant for this wonderful experience. And I'd like to thank you, the people of Long Beach, for your kind smiles and your welcome greetings. And as Miss Alaska, as an ambassador of friendship, I wish to extend to you an Alaskan greeting from the northernmost possession of the United States. Alaska is truly a sleeping giant of natural resource. We have vast resources of oil, timber, mining, and just, just everything is there in Alaska for everyone to appreciate. And I hope that all of you will come to Alaska someday, perhaps just to visit or to make it your home. But we would certainly like to see you. In the northern Eskimo language, which is the Kobuk Eskimo language, there is no word for goodbye. But the closest there is is Elak Makasuli, which means sometime again. Thank you. Her name is Martha Lehman, and she came from Alaska. And now, Monica Lamas of Argentina. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry, but I don't speak English, so I shall speak in Spanish. Hay un solo y valedero mensaje que tenemos las mujeres para decir a las mujeres es el mensaje yo lo denominaría el mensaje de la responsabilidad porque ha llegado el día en que todas y cada una de nosotras sepamos que cuanto nos ha sido dado pone de manifiesto la responsabilidad para ofrecer los mejores esfuerzos en pro de un mundo mejor de un mundo de paz y de afectos fraternales. Las mujeres argentinas dicen, por mi modesto intermedio, a todas las mujeres del resto del universo, sin distinción de razas ni de credos, que anhelan sea cierta y definitiva la paz entre los hombres y que por ello seguirán luchando para conseguir que haya un mundo sin guerras, sin odios, sin egoísmos y sin fronteras espirituales. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. What she said in her beautiful musical language is only one really worthwhile message we can give to women. I would call it the message of responsibility. The day has come when each and every one of us should understand that whatever has been given to us puts us under the obligation of assuming full responsibility for doing our utmost to strive for a better world, a world of peace and fraternal bonds. The Argentine woman would like to express to other women of the rest of the world, without race or creed distinctions, that they long for a true and definite place among mankind, and that they will do everything in their power to obtain a world without wars, without hatred, without selfishness, and without spiritual frontiers. And now we're going to hear from 
Miss Hanerl Melker of Austria. Here in Long Beach at the Miss Universe Beauty Pageant, I'm representing a small but very, very lovely country, Austria. I'm sure you all have heard of my beautiful native city, Vienna, where the Vienna Rose describes its charm and romance. So I bring you the best of greetings from Vienna on the Blue Danube. I'm thanking you all for the wonderful time you have shown me. Thank you from all my heart. She did a neat little trick. This was written that it was going to be in German, and she did it in English. And all I know is Hoboken German. I was going to translate it. <laughs> and now we're going to hear from Miss Teresina Morango of Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, you are meeting the 15 semifinalists in the competition to select Miss Universe of 1958 at the Long Beach Municipal Auditorium. It gives me great pleasure that, that since my visit here in the United States, I have learned to speak a few words of your beautiful language. Therefore, I will, I will try, I will try my, my speaks, to give my speaks in English. Oh, no, wonderful! My name is Theresa Morango. Morango, in English, means strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, Brazil does not only export nuts. <laughs> I am an Amazon because I come from the, um, the Amazon states where we have jungles, crocodiles, crocodiles. <laughs> I'm sorry, my pronunciation. Oh, <laughs> crocodiles, oil, rubber, the biggest, biggest river in the world, and of course, me. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity, this opportunity to convey the goodwill message from the people of my country, Brazil, to the people of the United States. To finish, I would like to express my sincere vote. The for the always going success of the international international beauty pageant. And um, now I shall speak in my language Portuguese. Eu gostaria neste momento possuir um poder sobrenatural que me fizesse que vocês todos entendessem o meu idioma ou vice-versa que eu pudesse falar o seu idioma assim eu poderia expressar o meu encantamento pela, pela maior potência do mundo na minha opinião os Estados Unidos da América do Norte pela primeira vez 
que saí do meu país, regressarei levando grandiosas recordações. Estou realmente encantada, deslumbrada com a simpatia, a hospitalidade, a organização do povo americano. O concurso de Miss Universo de outra página é uma obra admirável pelo seu elevado cunho, de, pelo, pelo seu elevado objetivo, que é a confraternização dos povos do universo. Sou eternamente grata a este concurso, que me deu grandiosas recordações, que ficará embeleza no meu coração, como dádiva suprema à minha mocidade. Thank you very much. Miss Brazil's message, brief. I wish I had the supernatural power, the magic of having all of you understand my words, which I cannot do in English, because then I should be able to bring truly to you the message of thanks, admiration for the wonderful organization, for the wonderful welcome, for the hospitality, and for the great sympathy of all the American people. Thank you. Thank you, Professor McGeer of Long Beach College. Now I'd like to introduce Gloria Noakes of Canada. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd just like to say that I think you people of Long Beach are just great. You've really made me feel very welcome. And I know that most of the girls from the different parts of the world that are here tonight were very homesick and lonely. And through your generosity and friendship and hospitality, you've made these girls feel right at home. And I think that's wonderful. And I'd like to say that Canada is very proud and honored to be here in this the Miss Universe beauty pageant. Well, I don't know what I can tell you about Canada that you must already know because I know when I go to the cottage, there's more Americans up there than there are Canadians. <laughs> but I'll begin by telling you about the West Coast where we have the Canadian Rockies and I have Banff Springs and Vancouver, BC, which is very beautiful. And in the north, we have the, well, we haven't got much up there. <laughs> it's kind of uh, cold and there's a lot of icebergs and snow and that, so I don't know too much about that. <laughs> but in the east, we have Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and British, Columbia, British New Brunswick, I should say. And uh, that's where most of our fishing is, cod fishing, and that's where most of it comes in to, and imported to all parts of the world. But the most important thing to Canada is the unguarded border that is extended between Canada and United States. And we find it inconceivable that many parts of the world cannot share in our peace that has joined Canada and the United States for so many years. Most of the Canadians whose ancestry have come from many parts of the world, like you, we are more or less a host to those troubled people who come from Europe and many parts of the world. We're here to give them a good future and a good homeland and we're trying our best. And each day we strive and pray and hope that someday there will be world peace. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gloria Noakes of Canada. Now I'd like to introduce Maria Rosa Gamio of Cuba. <laughs> Representa para mí una extraordinaria satisfacción el haber sido electa Miss Cuba en representación de la mujer cubana para concurrir al máximo evento mundial 
de selección de bellezas femeninas. Agradezco como cubana las muchas deferencias y atenciones que han tenido conmigo y no quiero el triunfo, sino llevar con orgullo el máximo calardón para mi país, que es el de mis universos. I will try she the English now. I'm sorry, but I don't speak English. <laughs> I would like to express to all wonderful oh just a moment. <laughs> I don't speak English. <laughs> I would like to express to all of you how wonderful is my stay in the United States and um, how proud I am to be representing my dear Cuba. Thanks to the Hashman. Thanks to the policemen. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Cuba. Well, I have a little translation of what you said in Spanish, but I think what you said in English was so wonderful that... Yeah. Now I'd like to introduce Sonia Hamilton from England. Sonia? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, judges, and Lord Mayor, or Mayor. I know he's here because I saw him in the audience. Um, when I was told I had to give a speech this evening, I wondered what I should say because I was told before I left England that there were to be over 37 nations represented in this pageant, the greatest of them all. And I thought, what if I adopted a theme and then the girl next to me got up and spoke about exactly the same thing. I'm sure you ladies will understand when I say it would be like going to a party in a gorgeous new hat or dress and finding someone else there wearing exactly the same. So I am not going to make a speech, but simply to take this opportunity to talk to you, because it is not often in life that a British girl has the chance to address so many people of another nation, not unless she is uh, lucky enough to become a delegate to the United Nations or something like that. So. Before I came over, the other Miss Englands told me what a wonderful, kind people you all were, but I didn't realize you could be this nice. And I was trying to stop myself from saying you all are, because that's the effect of North Carolina, who I share with. <laughs> <laughs> um, this morning, I was asked by someone if there was anything about the pageant that I did not like. Frankly, no. Everything is beautifully organized and everyone is most kind. And I would like to thank my hostess, Mrs. Leona Mealy, because I must confess that I am used to a lot of freedom. And when I first came here, I did not like the idea of being so closely chaperoned. <laughs> but I do see the necessity of it and think you take marvelous care of us all. <laughs> And before I go, um, I would like to end by saying, as I have already said this week, that in London, in October this year, we have the Miss World Contest, of which many of these lovely girls will be present. And I hope that while they are there, they will look upon me as a sort of Miss Welcome to London. And if I can do anything to help to make their stay as wonderful as our stay here has been in Long Beach, I will be more than grateful. My sponsor, Mr. Eric Morley, who is the organizer of the Miss World Contest, is unfortunately not here because almost on the eve of his coming over, he had to go into hospital for an operation. However, all's well now, and he hopes to be with this pageant next year. And also, I bring to you his personal regards. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, and particularly for our Northern California audience, may we explain that the girls first appeared in evening gown, were judged in that, have been judged in swimsuit, and now are being judged on personality. From the 15, five will be selected, and from those five, later this evening, will be selected Miss Universe and, of course, the four runners-up. Here's the introduction of the next contestant, Miss Germany, Gertie Dahl. Friendly people of Long Beach, as the sixth Miss Germany of the, uh, as the sixth Miss Germany of the, <laughs> oh, this bad is speaking English. <laughs> As the, as the sixth Miss Germany of the International Beauty Fashion, I was invited to be here. Oh, no. that's great to be here. <laughs> they love you. Oh. As the sixth Miss Germany and as ambassador of goodwill, I have been invited to be one of the uh, to be one of the. In be one of the contestants of the International Beauty Fashion in Long Beach, California. After my election in Baden-Baden, Germany, I was declared Miss Germany and was showered with gifts. My most important gift was the invitation to visit the New World. My flight from Hamburg to New York was like a dream. And I can hardly tell you how impressed I was to when I saw first the big city of New York. <laughs> America struck me with all her splendor. Until then I have met your country only on pictures, magazines and movies. <laughs> Why don't we put in a plug for our sponsors, Factor and Catalina Swimsuit. Now, does that make you feel better? Only a few days I'm now in the United States, but I have no, not seen much yet. But I can barely say some words about the people I have met since. The American women are extremely well-looking, and I think they are self-respecting. And the American men are courteous, and I appreciate their help. <laughs> As a German contestant of the international beauty passion, I wish to promote better understanding between the nations and to foster friendship and goodwill among all participants. This is the wish of all who come, who has come to Long Beach. May I conclude now with the heartly greetings to the organizers of the International Beauty Passions and to the charming city of Long Beach. Thank you very much. The master of ceremonies is Ed Hennessy. You hear him introducing these girls as we continue our competition among the 15 semifinalists for Miss Universe. Brought to Max Factor. And now I would like to introduce Lee Carabius of Greece. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am very proud to be with you tonight, and also very nervous. <laughs> we all. <laughs> I would like to bring to you a very friendly salute from my country. Seriously, let me tell you that there are many ties which unite our two countries. Both have uh, common ideals of democracy and friendship. Greece and the United States have fought side by side for the defense of these ideals. And I hope they will continue to do so. Um, 
I'd like to say that Thomas Jefferson was a great reader of the Plato's Republic, out of which we got this great democracy of our own. So we really owe you Greeks a great deal. Thank you. I guess you all know that Greece was the cradle of democracy, but and while now the United States is the leader of the free world, we hope that oh, I can't remember. Well, you can just say it. Just say it now. Forget the audience. Let's pretend we're rehearsing and it's Saturday morning. Nobody's here, just us. Well, um, I have seen that uh, the international spirit has really grown among all of us girls and uh, we have become really great friends and this is a wonderful experience for me. You've got such a smile, we don't care whether you're talking or not. <laughs> <laughs> you <want the> <laughs> Well, I think our judges have heard enough of this no, lovely please. girl, don't no, you? No. You're going to do it? Good. I, also, I would like to thank everyone for being so, so friendly and wonderful to all of us. This is the most important thing of all, I think. Thank you very, very much for listening to me. Oh, bless you. Bless you. If you wondered about Miss Grease's command of English, she lived for a number of years in New York City and then returned to her native country. Miss Grease, I've seen fellas giving their first speech to the Rotary Club in a small club where they only had 20 members and the guy say, uh, uh, I think you did a wonderful job. Let's give her another hand for staying with it. And now we're going to hear from Miss Valeria Fabrizzi of Italy. Grazie. Io sono infinitamente commossa. E io non sono venuta qui per vincere il concorso, ma per vedere l'America. Purtroppo non so parlare inglese. Ma appena arrivo in Italia studierò perché voglio tornarci, in questa meravigliosa California. E così almeno potrò, potrò parlare, esprimere la mia riconoscenza. E se permettete, se la giuria permette, posso leggere in inglese quello che posso. Excuse me. Excuse me. I did not come here to win, to be here and sue your fabulous USA. It herbis a, a marvelous experience for me. And when I return to Italy, I am going to learn your language, because I am in love with you and your wonderful California. And I want to return and stay here for a long, long time. My country and I. Thank you. Thank you very much. And what she said in Italian was, I bring a salute to you from my compatriots in the name of my land to your beautiful land. My honorable country has a very honest and laborious and ancestral background. These are the qualities that distinguish it in the world. Our motherland is very proud of everything you have given us and the model you have made of fraternity in the world. God bless you. She said it. Yeah, that's what I said she said. <clears throat> she was afraid you wouldn't understand her and I wanted to know that she got her little story over. <clears throat> now we're going to hear from Kyoko Otani of Japan. Good evening, dear friend. I'm sorry, I cannot 
speak English. <laughs> May I say uh, in Japanese? Sendit no open night no hi. Sakune no Miss Universe de de Chikyu no ue ni Yujo to Heiwa no Akari no tomo sareta toki. Atakushi wa ano shunkan o itsu ma demo wasureru koto ga dekimasen. Kurai umi no naka no toudai no yoni. Sekai no Heiwa to Yujo no 正しい道を教えるよう教える<笑>教えてくれる教えてくれることを私は信じますその灯台森をその灯台を守る灯台森の一人として日本の代表となりましたわたなりまして私は本当に嬉しいございますその明かりをいつまでも絶やさないように皆様と協力して努力したいと思っております Thank you <笑><笑>ですはい。Eh bien non, il se trompe parce que le, Mar le Maroc est vraiment très moderne et c'est une ville qui vient tout de suite après l'Amérique dans le modernisme. Il y a naturellement des bidonvilles, mais il y a aussi des grands immeubles de 15 étages. Il y a aussi des voitures, de... des voitures puissantes, il y a aussi des chameaux naturellement, des, des dromadaires si on peut dire. Mais enfin, le Maroc est une très jolie ville et je suis vraiment heureuse de la représenter ici à Long Beach. Merci. Oh, yeah. That's all right. All well set. Je m'excuse, j'ai un peu le trac comme toutes les concurrentes, mais enfin, ça passera. Je vois qu'il y a des personnes qui comprennent français, donc je suis très contente et elle m'encourage. Je les remercie encore. Oh, Oh, merci. Oh, je n'ai pas grand-chose à dire parce que personne ne comprend en français. Il y en a que quelques-unes. Et la seule chose que j'ai à dire, c'est... Je l'ai déjà dit. Le Maroc est très moderne. C'est une très jolie ville et je suis content de la représenter. Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Factor, the name renowned the world around, is bringing you the Miss Universe pageant. And later this evening, you'll be with us for the selection of Miss Universe of 1958 at the Long Beach Municipal Auditorium as this great pageant draws to its exciting climax. Stand by as we meet our continuing contestants later in the evening. <laughs> Yet we respect the remains of a civilization bequeathed to us throughout the centuries. On the highways of Morocco, one sees the latest model cars overtake a caravan of camels. A 15-story building dwarfs the surroundings with its immenseness. In short, the youthfulness of the world, youthfulness of the world, has just emitted from its torpor a race of people who, after centuries of glory, the traces of which come, one from all come across from everywhere, had in turn realized, see, I read that rotten, didn't I? <laughs> Try again. Whoever wrote this sentence hated public speakers. In short, the youthfulness of the world has just emitted from its torpor a race of people who, after centuries of glory, parenthesis, the traces of which one comes across everywhere, had in turn realized the inevitable decline. I don't think she said that. 
I know she said this because I could see it in her eyes. She said, this is Morocco. But one must come to Morocco itself to really know it and to love it. And she said, thank you very, very, very much. I lose my place, I'm dead. And now I would like to introduce Miss Gladys Zender of Peru. Señores del jurado, señoras y señores. Tengo el gusto de estar esta noche reunida con todos ustedes en este gran auditorio a donde he llegado con el único fin de entablar una franca amistad entre todas las naciones del mundo, que se encuentran aquí representadas por tan encantadoras muchachas. Para todas estas naciones traigo un cariñoso saludo de mi patria, el Perú. Ahora les voy a hablar unas cuantas frases en inglés. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment I wish to express in a very sincere way the following words. Stars of North America shine always together with our Peruvian sun. Thank you. Just so she knows that I'm saying what she said in her own tongue, I am honored to be here tonight with all of you here in this auditorium where all the nations of the world, represented by so many wonderful girls, are assembled together in unity and friendship. I bring a message of friendship to all these nations from my country of Peru, and I thank you. And we like that very much. <clears throat> now I would like to introduce Miss Inger Jonsson of Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to bring you a lot of greetings from Sweden, a peaceful little country far up in the north of Europe. We Swedes have been very lucky because we have had no war for 140 years. During this long time, we have had a chance to meet in a friendly way all kinds of people from all kinds of countries. And I dare say that we Swedes have learned one thing. When it comes to individuals, you cannot find much of difference between races and nationalities. After all, we are all just simple human beings. And the more we can come together, the more we can learn how small the difference really is. I think that this pageant gives us girls from different countries a wonderful chance to make this human experience. And I thank you for that chance and for the overwhelming reception you have given us here in the United States and mostly in beautiful Long Beach. And when I'm speaking here, I would like to thank my hostess, my lovely hostess, Mrs. Raby, for all the help she has given to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Inger Janssen. You make us realize what a beautiful musical language we speak. And now I'd like to hear from Gabriela Pascal, Miss Uruguay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I came from Uruguay, a small but great country, because he has reached many social conquests of Trasandi. By example, one of it. We have from uh, primary schools to universities free. I am here not to compete, but to establish friendship. 
I wish that all of you see in me the womanhood of Uruguay, wanting to be here in the United States, around <coughs> and surround with the love of all the American people. And I want you to, to see in me too the dream come true of the girls of Uruguay. Came here and just know all of you. I want to thank the hostesses that had been just like second mother for us, and to Mrs. Graver, the mine one, a big kiss. To the firemen and to the policemen, I want to, to know you how grateful I am for help us. And as a representative of my country, I want to give to all of you our best wishes, and I want to give them to, to the mayor of the city, to all of you, to the people of Long Beach. Thank you very much. I would like to say to these girls who spoke in English, most of them were worried about their accents, and I explained to them that we Americans like accents because most of us had either a father or mother or a grandfather or someone along the line who spoke accents. And an accent in our language means absolutely nothing. In fact, it usually endears us that people take the time to learn this language. Now let's stand up, girls, and let's give them a real wonderful, wonderful vote of applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give us a chord, Manny. I'd like to explain that these are in alphabetical order. The five young ladies, the finalists, in alphabetical order by the country from which they come. That's good. First, Miss Teresina Morango of Brazil. Next, Miss Maria Rosa Gamio of Cuba. And now, Miss Sonia Hamilton of England. Miss Gertie Daub of Germany. And Miss Gladys Zender of Peru. did before, the young ladies will please face the judges a little bit apart, please, a little apart. And we'll do the same thing, young ladies, when I say it. I'll give you the direct, put your heels together. I'm sure you'll be interested in the distinguished group of judges 
The gentleman on the left in the foreground there, seated between the two ladies, is Mr. Vincent Trotta, the Dean of the Judges, born in Italy, but educated in the art industry of the United States. The lady on this side of him in the Japanese uh, garments, Miss Miyoko Yanagida, wife of the president of Japan Airlines. And the lady on the far side of her is Lois J. Swanson, associate dean of students at Long Beach State College. In the second row in the center, you possibly recognize the famous columnist and certainly uh, well-established as an authority on feminine beauty, Earl Wilson. If you've ever read him, you know, of course, what I mean. Other judges include Armando R. Marabona, who is from Havana, Cuba. And we have Dr. Oscar Santa Maria, who comes from Brazil. James H. Noguer, who is Professor of Foreign Language and Foreign Student Advisor at Long Beach State College. And also on the committee, Roger Zeiler from Paris, who conducts the annual Miss Europe competition over there. And Ronaldo Herrera Uslar from Caracas, Venezuela. They're handing in their tabulations here and uh, I don't know that we're going to have a vote just yet. The ninth judge in the group is Alberto Vargas, who of course is best known as the creator of the Varga Girl. Here are the five finalists. We expect them to be brought off stage and seated back here and then we will have a very tense 10 to 15 minutes while the tabulation takes place. Now let's uh, go out in front and hear again from the Master of Ceremonies, Ed Hennessy. The attendance here for these four nights in Long Beach Auditorium has broken all records, and so has the outdoor opening on Saturday night. We had nearly 12,000 people. We just filled the stands out there, and tonight there isn't an empty seat in this great big auditorium of about 4,000 seats. Girls, would you please take a quarter turn to the right? Please. Would you please take a quarter turn to the right? Please. I know many thousands of you in Southern California entered the contest conducted by Max Factor to try and uh, figure out how closely you had come to the judge's final choice for Miss Universe. And of course, due to the last minute disqualification of Miss United States of America and her elimination from the competition tonight, we want to point out that if you did enter the name of Miss United States of America in your list of five contestants, the judges have worked out a system whereby they will make allowance for the possibility. There will be a mathematical allowance made and your choice will still be qualified and it will not count against you if you picked Miss United States of America who was, of course, disqualified, as we told you, at a very late time, and many thousands of you had sent in your entries. So, if you picked her, take heart, because the judges will make a mathematical allowance for that fact. And now, the throne of Miss Universe. Well, here we are, folks. This is the final decision by the judges which they came to after a great deal of deliberation and what they felt was the most beautiful girl in the world and the girl who should represent Miss Universe. I'm going to read first the fourth and the third and the second and the first runner-up and then I'll read who Miss Universe is. The fourth runner-up is Miss Germany, Gertie Dow.
Mary Collins Jr. is making her the presentation for being the fourth runner-up in our Muse Universe contest. I'd like to also introduce Mr. John Miller. Thank you, that's democracy. It's not very nice democracy, but it's democracy. The third runner-up who's going to do many wonderful things for these girls is Mr. Max Factor, who stands here uh, looking at the beautiful girls. Hello, Mr. Factor. I congratulate you, first of all, on the many generous gifts that are going to be forthcoming to these girls who have won honors here tonight. Yes, uh, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised at the outcome. I've been a judge here and the previous uh, con uh, pageants that we've had here, and uh, I know what a difficult time it was, and uh, I feel that almost every one of the girls were a Miss Universe in yeah. themselves. It was quite a difficult task, and I was quite happy that I wasn't a judge and have to make such a decision. <laughs> I but know. I think the decision was wisely made, and it was re really uh, something that the audience and all seemed to approve of. Seemed to be well received, didn't yes, it? Yes, Everybody it did. had their favorites, but everybody right. cheered when Miss Universe was announced. Oh, there. yes, they certainly did, and uh, I think it was a wonderful show and uh, something that uh, we could all be very proud of. <laughs> You know, if you'd have been a judge, you'd have had to vote for Miss Germany because she distributes Max Factor products in Hamburg. Well, uh, <laughs> that's why I wasn't a judge this year, because we couldn't be prejudiced. <laughs> I know. Well, I know you wouldn't have been had you been a judge, Mr. That Factor. That is right. I want to tell you that we've certainly enjoyed the opportunity of working with you in the presentation of this Miss Universe pageant this year. Well, we've certainly enjoyed being on the show, believe me. We thought it was wonderful, and it was great entertainment, and I sat home and watched it on TV every night and had a real kick out of it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Factor. Nice Thank to have you, you with us. Nicely. Mr. Max Factor, who heads the famous company, and uh, no matter what country they came from for the pageant, they knew about Max Factor products.